Hello there. So, I'm Grandma Ray Don't... Well, no, I'm not Grandma Ray Don't Play. This is Grandma Ray Don't Play channel. I'm Rachel. So, okay, it's all me. So, what I want to show you how to make today is shrimp and vegetable tempura in the deep fryer. Okay? Shrimp and vegetable tempura. I think this is a great meal because it's a light meal. You know, vegetables are light and the shrimp is light and it's something that you may enjoy, I believe, especially in this new uh, fiberware deep fryer. It's 1.1 liter, very, very small, but it's perfect if you don't have a lot of counter space and if there's not a lot of people in your family and you don't mind making several batches, okay? All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I already have the um, deep fryer on. The oil is hot. And now we're going to make our tempura uh, batter. Okay, so this is the tempura that I'm using. It says tempura seafood batter mix. Okay. All right, so let's put this in the bowl. Okay, now it did not say add seasonings, but I'm going to add the seasonings because, of course, that makes sense, right? All right, so let's start out with some black pepper. Some Larry seasoning salt. I'll leave my seasonings over here so I can have access to them quickly. And let's do some garlic. Okay, so now that we have some seasonings in here, I'm going to mix that up. And now it says add three-fourths cup of water. So I have a cup here. Three-fourths is about right here. So if you have a one-fourth cup measure, you do that three times, okay? And it says cold water. So I'm going to get a cold water. To do this with. There we go. So I have a bottle of water. It's been in the refrigerator for about three days. It's cold. So three fourths. So I'm going to come up to right here. Okay. I'm going to leave the water here just in case. You never know. Alright. Now I'm going to mix that up. So I've added all the ingredients. Uh, one cup of batter mix, which was in this box. Three-fourths cup of ice water. We did that. One pound of seafood or vegetables. We have that right here. And vegetable oil is in the deep fryer. So we are good to go. Let's mix this up. And right away I can see I need more water. Look at that. See how thick that is? You're not going to be able to put that on the... Um, so I'm going to add another one-fourth and see what happens with that. I added now a total of one cup of water. You want it loose like pancake mix so that it can adhere to the vegetables and shrimp. Okay, here we go again. You see how thick that is? That's not going to work. So I'm going to add some more water. So I'm adding another one-fourth. So now we get a cup and one-fourth. I 
Okay, that's looking about right now. Okay, let me show you. See that? That's what you want. So we added a cup and a fourth of water to get to this point. Okay, so I don't need to pour it anymore. Alright, so let me show you my vegetables. So this is an onion. I cut it. And I um, separated it so that I have single uh, strips like this, okay? This is the broccoli. I cut it up so that we have uh, broccoli flowers like this, okay? I have some yams. Let me show you a yam. yam or sweet potato this is a, a yam or sweet potato okay and I cut it up into round circles and then I cut the circle in half okay let me pour this water off I just had it in water so it didn't turn brown okay then I have some green peppers okay so I cut two already to show you let me cut another one. So I'm cutting down. Okay, so let me show you one more time. See that? Okay. So I have four slices of green peppers. Okay. All right. Now, I have some shrimp here. I already peeled mo all of them except for one to show you. So this is the shrimp. It came like this. They already cut down the back of it and took the black vein out, okay? So you just peel down the, the shrimp's shell on the sides. Not the shell, but the outer portion of it, like this. Take that off, see? Okay, so now we have all our shrimp. They're already washed. I want to season them. Put a little garlic, salt, or ground garlic, black pepper, same seasons we used earlier, and Larry's seasoning salt. Okay, now let's mix that up. Pour this water off. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands because we're going to start with the vegetables first. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh... From cooking in the this deep fry the other day, I learned that I don't want this basket in there because I had a fight around taking the food out because of the basket because it's small. Okay, so I don't want to do that. All right, so let me start out. Uh, I think I want to start out with oh, let's go with the onions. It doesn't matter what you start out with. Just put them in there. And I may not cook them all because I got a lot here. I'll save some for another day, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so you can see I have the batter on the onion. I'm going to put that in. Okay, and it's cooking pretty fast. So 
I'm going to get something to put it on. Okay, I'm going to turn it. Okay, while that's going on, I want to batter up the next thing. So let me batter up some mushrooms. I have some mushrooms here. Show you that. Let's batter up four of those. Okay. Okay, our onion rings are ready. That fast. What was that? Two minutes? Now you see why that's worth it? Alright, so now we're going to put the mushrooms in. Did you see that mess? <laughs> okay, while that's going on, let's batter up some sweet potatoes. Okay. Turn the mushroom. Okay. show you the tempura onion rings. How about that, huh? I turned the mushrooms over again. Okay, so the mushrooms are out. Let's put in the, the yams. These are raw yams. They're not cooked.
Okay, here's the mushrooms with the uh, onions. How about that? Fried mushrooms. <laughs> okay, let me turn the yams over. So what we have left to cook is the broccoli, the green peppers, and the shrimp. Okay, I'm going to get another paper towel. And the tempura batter costs two dollars and ninety nine cents. And I want the yams to cook a little longer because they were they were raw and you know they're kind of hard, right? Oh, I can't wait to taste one. Can you? Oh, you all gotta go get this uh, fiberware deep fryer from Walmart. Nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. Come on now, great deal, right? And I definitely like frying without that basket. Now let's go with the, the green peppers. These are sweet green peppers and they're kind of big so only two will go in at a time. Now this is my third time using this um, deep fryer, so I have not changed the oil yet. That's a pretty good deal if you can get three meals out of it and you're still using the same olive oil. That's pretty good. Okay, let me show you that. That's the yams, mushrooms onion rings. Look how crispy it looks. You know I can see doing this for breakfast because it's very light and you won't get tired during the day. I'm going to put all that together in one because I'm not going to cook all that to right now. I think I'll have the rest of it for breakfast. <laughs> Why not? Okay. That's all set. Okay. We're all done with the water. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to batter up is the broccoli. We'll do four of those. And 
Make sure you get the bat on everything. I'm going to turn the peppers over. You know, if you go to the Japanese restaurant and you ask for vegetable tempura, that's about $15 alone. And then if you want shrimp tempura, you're on $20. Okay? So that's a lot. So let's do a breakdown. The mushrooms was $1.29 for a container. This is my second time using the mushrooms out of that $1.29 container. I still have more there for a third meal. The uh, sweet, the yams was two for $3. I used a half of a one, so we're talking, what, 50 cents maybe worth? Because I only used uh, about four slices. The onions oh, were definitely on like 20 cents on an onion. Okay, because I only have a few slices. Then we have the broccoli. I did a pound of broccoli, uh, which was, I think, 99 cents at the store. Okay, I'm going to turn the pepper over one more time. The green pepper was, uh, I think, a dollar and a quarter. I used uh, maybe all of the green pepper so I would say this is definitely a dollar and a quarter okay now I'm going to put the broccoli in okay and the last thing we're going to put in it, the batter is our shrimp. Okay. I have a lot of shrimp, maybe 20. Okay, that has the batter on it. Let me add, oh boy, the plate is getting full, guys. Let me add the green peppers over here. Oh, I gotta let you see that. Oh, I gotta let you see that. I'm gonna get another paper towel for this one. I always drain anything that with oil out on a paper towel to get the excess oil off. It's nothing worse than biting into greasy food. You see how I can easily turn this over? If you have that basket in there, it's harder. I tried it. So I'm all set with the basket. And you don't have to worry about the food going down because it will float right to the top. Okay, let me show you the plate now. There's the green peppers, the yams, the mushrooms, the onion rings. Okay, and yes, we had to do small batches, but you know that's that's the price you pay if you want. They got a larger one for $39, but it takes up more, more space on the counter. And you see the space that I'm working with. So this works for me. And it probably will work for your family too if you have a space problem. Or if you don't use it that often, you don't want something really big taking up the counter, right? Turning that over the last time. And look at all this I have left over. 
for tomorrow morning breakfast. I'm going to do this tomorrow morning with some eggs. How about that? Okay, I'm taking the broccoli out. Okay, now we're going to put the shrimp in. for now. Wipe off my dripping. Okay, now I have to add the broccoli to the mix here. Wow. Look at that. You know, your presentation is everything, so you want to display it so that the eye is catching it. Look at that. Broccoli, onion, uh, green peppers, onion rings, mushrooms, yams. Ooh, ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy. In the middle right there, I'm going to put my shrimp. How about that? And I'm going to stop and add up the cost for you so that you'll know. I think that you could feed... Okay, maybe two people, if you have a little child, three. How about that, huh? That's a good deal. Oh, wait, guys. And the good part about it, the shrimp was frozen. You just put the shrimp in a bowl, run some cold water on it. Five minutes, they're all thawed out and you're ready to go. The rest of this is fresh. Can't beat that. Okay, let me take my shrimp out. It doesn't take long for shrimp to cook. Okay, it's all in. Okay. Look at those shrimp. Now I'm going to put them on the plate and let you see that. I'm 
another paper towel. Let me give you the word of the day while we're waiting on the last shrimp to cook. Okay. The word of the day is be the best you can be. Let the best part of your personality shine. Because you never know who's watching. Your kids could be watching. Somebody else's kids could be watching. Uh, an adult could be watching. Your boss could be watching. Your future partner could be watching. You never know, right? So be the best you can be. Always display your best personality. The world don't need to know that you're angry about something. That's not necessary. That's your problem alone, okay? And if you show them that you're mad or angry, how does that help you? It doesn't. But what does help you is if you still display a positive attitude, even though you may go be going through a crisis, okay? Be the best you can be, put the smile on the face, and put the best attitude you have forward at all times. Okay? Alright, let's go back to the shrimp. Thank you for listening. Okay, I'm going to turn them over. Oh, and let me show you the plate so far. Oh my goodness, look at that, huh? Ah, are you kidding me? Oh wow, talk to me. Ah.
Okay, let me show you first. Will you look at that? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is a healthy, healthy, healthy meal. Really, you got your vegetables, you have your meat. That's all you need. You don't even need nothing else. The starch is the batter that's on it, so you're good. How about that, huh? Let me get a thumbnail. Oh my goodness. See if I can get in the picture without dropping it all. Ah, oh, sliding. Here we go. Here's my thumbnail. Look at that. Huh? That is vegetable shrimp tempura. And one second, I'm going to give you the total cost of that. One second. Okay, guys. I have your breakdown for you. All right. So, the broccoli was a dollar for the bunch. I used half, so that's 50 cents. The onion was 25 cents worth. I didn't even use a whole onion, so we're calling that 15 cents. The mushrooms, there was a dollar 30 for a pack. I used it, this is my second time, and I still have some left over. So we're going to call that 65 cents. The green pepper, I used the whole green pepper, that's 125. The yams, I bought two for $3. We used a half of a one, so I'm calling that a dollar. The shrimp was uh, $15 for the bag, and I had five bags I made out of the one bag. That breaks down to $3, okay? So the total cost is $6.55. So if you're feeding a family of three, you know, two adults and a kid, okay, that would break down to $2.20 a plate. Uh, you kidding me? Come on, $2.20? Another thumbnail, why not? $2.20? That'll work all day long, a person. Or six dollars and fifty five cents for the meal. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I have done my job today and I am pleased with the results and I hope you are. And if you're really, really, really pleased, hit that like button. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit that like button. Share the video, okay, and subscribe. Check out the links below. I have links to Amazon. You can find some items down there that I use in my kitchen. You can go on over there and shop until you drop, okay? I have also a Patreon on there that I am um, asking if you would like to uh, donate $4 a month to help with the expense and cost to making this production happen. And anything else that you see on there, Please help yourself, okay? And until next time, Grandma Ray don't play. And you know I don't play because I put it down today, didn't I? Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Love you. God bless.